Welcome back everyone to another reaction. I'm Nicholas, so we're here to watch the second episode in season three of The Orville. This one's called Shadow Realms. Um, here he's, uh, the season is a fresh start and uh, it's very clear they got a bigger budget. The episodes seem to be a little longer. I don't think there's as many episodes this season, but they're longer in length, uh, more content there, I suppose. And uh, I don't really have much to say other than I'm liking it. Uh, uh, all the, you know, main characters are back, uh, clearly. Introduction of the new character, uh, Burke, I think was her name. She, you know, she's got some character arc to go through to kind of uh, warm back up to, to Isaac and all that happened in the second season there. But um, yeah, pretty solid so far. Good writing, good acting, uh, special effects are good. Uh, everything uh, I'm really enjoying about this season. So let's just get into it uh all right here we go ed and kelly ed and kelly show to keep you all wait we're getting a pool table in the mess hall no <laughs> we've been assigned to pick up vice Admiral be cool. christy from out early indications are that with treaty negotiations going smoothly the krill get the krill in a little bit more it's cool i like that the krill or Coming around to the Union, former enemy now becoming an ally. It's progress, right? All right, Doctor, why didn't you sleep well last night? What's on the mind? Dr. Finn. An old colleague. Boy, you must have had some top-notch professors. One or two. Well, this Him. one is very proud of you. Oh. Thank you, sir. But you know what they say, unmarried men look younger feel older and you're as beautiful as ever save your charm for the krill a lot of years to catch up on actually i promised my kids i stay home tonight and watch a movie with them kids you didn't you uh you have kids maybe it's best if we just stay focused on the job at hand clearly there's something there before and it may be 25 years too late but i'm sorry what happened? I don't want to keep you from your briefing. What did he do? Broke her heart. Once the Kalan are crushed, the Alliance will be dissolved. Only then will we celebrate. Well, well. still. <laughs> Here's to a better future. Girl didn't seem to be really thinking forward about the Alliance. Did you just take the whole bottle? A lot of drinking on this show. You know, I was married once. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. Who's the guy? Yeah. Admiral Christie, are you serious? You were married to Admiral Christie. I was a medical student at Union Point. He was one of my professors. You know how that goes. We started seeing each other. The Personally, I'd always rather be dumped than be the dumper. Same. Anyway, different lifetime. On to but the she's future. always the dumper. Well, maybe... Kelly's always the dump. <laughs> oh, that's a thought. We use it in our propulsion systems. We wish to secure extraction rights. This guy's voice sounds very familiar. The third, the Ancano warns of shadow, shadow realms, realms, gateways to the depths of the underworld where demons lie in wait. Well, there are religious the uh, who dare culture, so. Stray within their reach. And uh, Enterprise season three, that was the big thing about being going to the Expanse for the Zendi. Visions of horror always have mortal origins. Yep. If there is something out there, it's not supernatural. Could still be dangerous. something actually there, yeah. Exploration always carries risk. Is it? Give me all the signs. Fuck off. I come here to work. Awkward. Just speak from your heart. <laughs> this will be funny. Let's give this everything we got, and may the force be with you. <laughs> That's perfect. Am I interrupting anything important? Yes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I was hoping you could give me some insight. 
And to what makes Claire happy these Insight days? from the emotionless robot. Finn values her awesome. children above all else. Her recreational interests include music, dancing, fine dining, rain showers, and sexual relations. Her well, who's doesn't? Her positions include... Well, <laughs> 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 Thank you. Oh, don't get too close to that thing. Admiral, what do you say? I wouldn't miss it for anything. Oh, you're gonna send the Admiral on their way team? You're with Kelly and I. Ugh. Explore my ass. That's scary as shit. Oh, never fly into the glowing red hole that's opening. Oh, come on. It's like organic. It's like a rock cave. Drop some crumbs or something, remember your way back. This is not where you want to get stuck. Keep those scanners out. <laughs> Crazy set. Or if they filmed on a volume. It's gonna face sucker gonna get you. Don't no. Whoa. Be safer to analyze the data we have before we go any further. Yep. Do you think it's abandoned? According to scans, it's where the, it's where the no demons live. Currently on board. Maybe we find something or someone who can shed some light on this. Uh, you got too close to that thing. Jesus, this is a freaking this is a horror show. Is that like eyeballs growing out of his forehead? Stabilized for now. I need more. Inf yeah, you can only. Filter out things you know exist. They're going back? Hope you're all wearing suits this time. There you go. Yep, I breathed on it. The distress beacon we found is broadcasting a new signal. What kind of It's telling the creators. Yeah, come here. Like, hey, we have new samples. Come here now. And I'll make a deal with you. You get better. You have dinner. And I'll make you some of that chocolate souffle you used to love. I hated that souffle. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Locate him. Oh, no. Fortis alert security. Commander, ah. someone is accessing main power. They're using level nine command codes. Admirals. I am locked out. Where's everybody else running around trying to fix stuff? Doctor? Admiral's going to get you. This is like a scary episode. Crap. It's bait if I've ever seen it. Wait for the jump scare. Yep. Person Orville. Try twisting it. I did. Well, usually if it doesn't pop right out, it means you're doing it wrong. Thanks. You're a huge help. Well, if it doesn't pop right out, it means you're doing it wrong. What? Through. It means try something else. Creepy. That thing is freaky. Did you see it? See what? The monster. I don't know Some rando red shirt is going to get taken. Come on. So they can get away. Run, kids. That's how you get converted right there. happens real fast when you get spit on is, is that that's how their species uh, procreates if they infect another Are you okay? like what happened to Admiral Christie demonic possession yeah that's what they think the krill warned us what Marcus described is most likely a more potent version of the microbes reproduction that's a natural means of creation is to he is likely unaware of the alien threat I'll find them. Where's your old phasers? You're carrying around lights. 
That was easy. Isaac went away. And he didn't bring a phaser. Listen, whenever the power goes out on your spaceship, you grab a phaser. Okay? You're not going to be able to squeeze that hole fast enough. There you go. Who's got a phaser? Good, smart. He locked himself in. And why don't ships like this have independent communications? Like little two-way radios planted all over the place. So if something goes down with your ship, you can just pick up the damn radio and talk. Oh, it's laying strength. Come up. Nice. You know, it can't do anything to Isaac. I'm gonna walk away. Sir, long range scanners are detecting Other vessel, vessel, of course. 10 million kilometers in closing. Genome has been completely transformed. Can't even tell what species he was. Or what's his name's got a ring. There was a fragment of we could disperse it in aerosolized form throughout the ship. They'd have no immunity. What about us? Get a sniffle. You might get the sniffles. Yeah. I am prepared. <laughs> I can do with that. Finally have some weapons. Paul? It's course, me, the, Claire. The common cold has evolved to be compatible with our own biology, so it might not even be effective on another species at all. Hence why, you know. Mosquitoes don't get the common cold because their their DNA, their biology is so different than ours. Of course, we're in a sci-fi world where it's clearly already gone one direction. After they all go, you still release this everywhere across the ship. It'd be cool if the next episode picked up and they all got the sniffles. How are you doing? I'm okay. Very well. Okay, bye. Wait, you talked about me with Paul? Our shared history of social and sexual intimacy <laughs> with you provided a common frame of reference. You know, I have missed you. Thank you, Doctor. Do you want to sit down? Have a good episode. Never get never gets old to see. Consultant John Favreau. Yeah, another good episode. Uh, the Orville the show's good. I mean, uh, it's Star Trek in every way. Uh, every way to be like it legally and not be it. <laughs> I think it's a big thing nowadays in a lot of common sh uh, present day shows. Not all shows, but a lot of present day shows where they tend to have like a whole season story arc with like a main plot line that's going on. I've enjoyed those like everybody else has, but something about these episodic seasons where there is a little bit of, of plot things going on from throughout the whole season, but it's not like, you know, it's the end of the world and throughout the whole season arc, we're, we're trying to stop the end of the world. It's, but there are things that carry over like the, the character, well, the most important things, the character development, what happens in one episode carries over into the next, what the lessons learned aren't forgotten. And so I think those are the most important things to carry over a season and a series more so than any one looming threat or whatever that, that the characters have to deal with. Uh, I, I like how the, the problems that come up are an, on an episodic basis but the character's growth endures throughout the whole thing. So yeah, the, and, and it allows them to explore different genres. Like this is, was definitely kind of their, their horror flick, their horror film or whatever. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I've got nothing but good things to say about this show. A lot of fun. Yeah, I'll just wrap it up there. It's, I just love this show. <laughs> I can't wait to see the next, next episode. So I appreciate you all joining. Uh, hit that like button if you like this at all. Uh, subscribe, come back for more if you're not already. 
done so. And if you're interested in full length reactions to this or anything else we've done on the channel, you can check out for Patreon down in the description below. Thanks again. We'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.